Hi there, this is Nicola and welcome to my channel, Forever Young Autobiographies. It's the place to learn how to write life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on for future generations. I'd love for you to subscribe and hopefully like this video. Today's topic is lessons learned. How to write a memoir full of your best life lessons. Now I bring this topic up because it's Remembrance Day here in Australia and elsewhere around the world in a couple of days, in a couple of days time. Now when we attend a memorial or Remembrance Day, there's often the phrase, lest we forget, which is all about remembering the sacrifices made for war. But this phrase, I think, is also a really good motivator for helping you write your autobiography or memoir. So I've got some key points on this to talk about today. So let's jump in. Now, point number one would be, why do we include life lessons? Why do people want to know this? And that's a really good point. When we're writing our autobiography, it is a creative pursuit. It's something that we might just do for ourselves. It's good for the soul. But keep in mind that when you're writing something like this, you're writing it for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, future generations, and maybe other family and friends. So these people, whether they're consciously or unconsciously realising, they, they want to know what lessons you've learned over your life. They want to know the challenges that you faced. They want to know how you faced them. How did you cope? What lessons did you learn? This is really helpful for them because it gives them ideas and puts gives them ideas for if they were facing similar situations, what would they do? They really do want to know. So that's number, point number one. Why do we include life lessons? Now, you might be asking, okay, life lessons, but what are they? What topics would you talk about? And that's a really good point. Now, thinking back to Remembrance Day, it's all about sacrifice. You know, there could be topics surrounding war, such as courage, loyalty, freedom, um, and of course, sacrifice. When we translate um, to life lessons learned for an autobiography, there's many different topics um, or areas that we could focus to include about life lessons. So I'm just going to list a few, but I go into a bit more detail on my website. There's a whole article about this. It's on foreveryoungautobiographies.com. So basically the main uh, areas which you could include for life lessons would be things like health, relationships, family, maybe working and career, your ideas about finance, places and times you've lived, your, about religion or your outlook on life, even things like friendship and other things such as perhaps your outlook on taking risks, on change, even about how you deal with different emotions what makes you happy, things like that. So there really is a wide range of lessons that you could um, you know, put in your autobiography for others to read and, and take something from. Okay, so we know why we need lessons uh, learned in our autobiography and we know different topics, but how do we put them in? Where do we put them in? And that's a really good, good point. So I'll just name the top three places that most people would do this in. The first and probably most obvious would be at the beginning or the end of your memoir or autobiography. So maybe your introduction or sort of your prologue or conclusion, your final statement. Um, you can sprinkle minor ones throughout the book through the different chapters, or you could just simply, as they come along, summarise them in each chapter, say at the end. So more of a reflection. Now I'll give an example. Say you had a health condition. So you're dealing with the initial symptoms. Now, you, writing this in your autobiography, you could put about the lessons learned about how you're dealing with these immediate symptoms. And then as your book progresses, if you've still got the condition, you can sprinkle in other reflections about this condition. And then perhaps at the end of the book, looking at the um, health issue as a whole, you give a reflective piece um, and maybe about how you overcame mindset problems with this condition, all that kind of thing. So 
there's no hard and fast rules. Your writing, like I said, is creative. So that would be my top three suggestions. So just to recap, what a memoir writer knows about including uh, lessons learned in your, in your writings. So number one is why we need to include lessons learned, what different types there are or topics that you can include. And number three, we've talked about different places or placements within your writing that you can, you can include these. So I hope this encourages you to be courageous and include your lessons learned and share them with other generations. Now if you'd like to learn more about this topic, I've written a whole article on my website which is foreveryoungautobiographies.com and you can go there and check out a bit more detail. Uh, if you have uh, a comment, I'd love to hear about it. Put it, in the or put it in the comments down below. I'd love to know what type of lessons you've learnt throughout your life and maybe we can share those. So put them in the comments. Also in the description box below you'll notice that I've also left a link for free sections to your family stories which is a system I've put together so that you can interview and record the, le the life story of a loved one. Now, this is a great way to help you, um, you record uh, lessons learnt from a loved one in your family. So make sure you check that out. It's completely free. So click on the link. And if you found this video helpful, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel and hopefully like this video. So thanks for watching and until next time, happy writing.